What's it guys, Matt Wish here bringing you a new Tips, Tricks, Jumps and Spots video on Biolab, the new map on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, so I'm going to get straight into this and yeah, this is one of my favourite maps, so here we're starting at sea spawn in Domination, you start spawning here and basically to cap sea flag you've got this circle area to cap it in so there's nothing you can really hide behind as such um, you can actually jump on top of them, which I was meant to be showing you later, but there's nothing you can hide behind, you just have to, you know, use your gun skills to actually cap that. Um, now, I don't know if you can jump on these and cap the flag, I, I, I thought you could, I thought I'd done it before, but obviously not. But these are the first thing, so, you can actually jump on top of these, and people coming through there and jumping up through there, you can sit on here and actually kill them. And it is, you know, fairly useful. It keeps obviously coming forward and back. I, you do die if you go into here, I believe. As I will show you. You die. Because it's out of bounds. So, that's basically the sea spawn bit, and that's a good kind of point you can use. So, we're going to work this way around the map to A. Now, you can, you can go on top of this thing. This is fairly good. And you can also go on top of this thing. Now, not many people know about this at all. You can go like, you know, all, oh, you can go all the way up that and it's absolutely crazy how far, like, you can go on this map. You can jump on more or less most things and this is a really good spot because not many people look up here. So you can sit here sniping the people that come around or you can be waiting for people to come through here. You can see, um like just get a bearing of where people are and no one barely looks up here and also up here again you can just be protecting the sea flag as you can see all the circle of it now again you can work your way around here not many people come on top of here you can kind of head glitch and like glitch around the side of these and you've got you know fairly good cover uh, from enemies which is really cool Moving down here, in here there's not really much you can do, you can just hop on top of these things which is fairly useful if you're hiding from people and you know waiting for people to run through and then same here you know there's not too much you can do, there's a decent line of sights through there and that's about it for this area. So moving on again there's one of these things which you can jump on top of yet again, you can't go anywhere unfortunately again but it's just something cool again and I'm saying again a lot. <laughs> You can kind of get a glance on a flag from here, which is really nice. This map's one of the smaller ones, and you can snipe people off a flag and defend it from here, which is really cool. And I'm glad that they've put it in so you can get on top of this. It's just super cool. Now, you can go on top of that, but watch you don't get burnt by that, obviously. Now, moving on to this side of the map, not many people use this area of the map, so it could be used more efficiently, as not many people obviously come in this corner so people don't know that you can actually jump on here and get up here and sit again and you know cover A. A is the best flag you can protect because the height advantages and the little glitches like this that people don't know about and will never barely look up here which is really nice. Uh, you can hop on top of these things and hop around onto these you know it's not as useful but it is just a little something you can do for defending the flag. Now, I'll cover this area first. Now, this area, you've obviously got this head glitch here, which is nice. You can stop people coming through this alleyway here. And then, again, you can not hop down there. Um, now, I'm going to cover this part of the map anyway. And because, you know, I'm going to link back around to A. And this part of the map is covered with head glitches around these areas and parts of the map. It's really cool and there's a few helpful spots and tips you can do. So here's a really nice one. Uh, people will be running around here obviously, coming around and then they won't have time to kind of pop you off through here. So if your head glitching through this bit, they're just going to see your head and you can pop them off real quick and come out. And again, you've got the head glitches here and you can also kind of just wait here at the corners. You've got this that charts through into this middle area again and just, you know, goes up onto there which is, you know, that's just another linkage to the actual front of the map. Then you've got this area here. Now all these windows are breakable, so you can actually 
go up through here and then again Capine you haven't got really too much colour at Capine which is why it's the best one to defend. Now moving on down into here you've got these windows here where you can kind of see through into each window. Now if you can make it you can jump from this window to that window I believe but obviously you've got to be careful and make sure you can actually do that. And then you can also come down here and you've got all this area to explore. You can jump on top of here and this is a useful area of the map because you can cover all of this area and this is a high traffic area, people always running through the here. So again, you know, you can cover B and you can um, also cover over there. Now in other actual maps, this building thing here isn't actually in the other maps apart from I think it's Hardpoint and Domination in TDM this yellow building is gone it's just these boxes that are on the floor which is really cool how they've changed the map to suit the um, actual game mode which is really nice so again there's many entrances into here there's the windows where you can come up and get this you've got the minigun on the side so you can you know spray people off the roof and etc and just give it great cover and then You've also got the window you can jump up into there, and then you can do the same from this area. So if you're approaching this building, the best way to do it is the left side, as that's got more options. Um, but, you know, the right side is just as good if you um, want to try that approach. Now, you've got these windows here again. This is a better way of tackling people instead of going up the stairs. If someone's camping up the stairs, you want to jump up here, and then you land in there and take them out. And then, you know, this building, not too many people use this for actually climbing Oh, uh, there's, a, there's a way to climb up here. I think that's another window I'm on about, though. Oh, no, there we go. If you actually double jump, then crouch, you end up landing in it. You have to push forward at the same time. It's just really hard to... Um, get right now there we go and you can see straight through there obviously and take anyone out in that window and you can also get a little peeking in into there and take people out coming through there it's just another line of sight that's great for this map and then obviously you've got up here for defending sea flag again and taking out people around here so I've covered all the map I hope this kind of gives you a bit more tips. Again, you've got these line of sights here that are quite nice and just stuff like that. And I hope this has gave you kind of an insight on the map and more tips. This is one of my most favourite maps. It's got a lot of spots I've just shared with you guys that you may not know about. Such as, you know, jumping onto this thing here. And it's just, you know, a really nice help and not a lot of people know about actually doing it. And you can, you know, hop from one to another really easily on this map. Which is, you know, super nice. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm Mike Bush. Subscribe to a Bush Battalion by hitting that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Have a nice day. Peace.